Alright, lots and losses. I'm Eccentric Racer, and we are back on Full Twice of Five with another Volcanic Trailblazers. Yes, you lost seem to be <coughs> We got decent views last time, so yes, I'm going to continue on this series. Next instalment, we are going to be sending this, the Peugeot 207 Super 2000. Uh, last one, if in case you didn't see, we sent a Mazda 323. Um, so it should be an interesting one, the Peugeot, because, um, well, it is already a rally car, so it's going to have that with it. So, yeah, um, it should, I reckon, I reckon it stands a good chance. The top speed, probably not, um... You know, I think it's gonna. I think it's gonna struggle to get the top speed that some of the other cars, especially the um, Hoonigan RS200. Uh, sorry, not the Hoonigan RS200. Um, the Hoonigan Escort. That's what I was meaning to say. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I, I think it's gonna struggle to get to that top speed, but it might prove something good. But uh, yeah, we'll have to wait and see. So let's have me shut up and let's build the car so first things first the tire compounds it already starts off on rally tires so that's good enough for me i'm going to stick on two five fives all around um engine excuse me seems to be turbo rally oh that's it um yeah. i'm not going to i think though i am going to stick in a turbo myself um so we're going to do that diff, uh, we've got a rally diff in it, I am going to put in a 7 speed, what's the top speed looking like, 179, yes, a diff is 100% going to be needed, suspension, this is going to be a rally one, right, so what power can I get away with it, of course the P max PI limit I have is 850, what I need to do as well is just set my phone up, um, so I can punch in all the numbers and whatnot, okay, so that's then there, um, and then need the website, there we go, right, okay, so, what power can I get with it? I can put in, I can remove the restrictors. What top speed for, well, 196. I can remove the restrictors. I can um, do the cams with something else. Same with the turbocharger. Um, might be able to do turbo. No. Right, okay. Um, and what about you? You add 17 horsepower. So, if I add that, can I? I can give it 556 horsepower. Um, it actually improves the top speed at all. No, it does it somewhat. Um, hmm. I think I am going to want to do that. Yeah, I'm going to go for that. Um, yeah, why not? Right, okay, so nice and simple. That is the Peugeot build. Um, can I do... Do I do track widths? Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Right, there we are. Peugeot built really quickly, so let's uh, go send to the volcano, see how it does. Alright, here we are, lined up at the base of the tarmac volcano for the first run um, of the Volcanic Trailblazer sprint thing. Um, catchy name, I know. Um, yes, yeah, so I've got three attempts to get up to the top of the volcano, record the time, and then go down the volcano using the dirt route. So we will uh, have to have a look and also as well record the highest speed this car gets. So we will set off in three, two, one. Now I uh, can pull a little bit further forward, but we didn't stall whatsoever, so that is good. Nice, okay, here we are. Off, starting off the run. Let's get you through the first hairpin using a little bit of the handbrake and make sure that the car gets around there nicely. And here we go, just shift it up to the uh, to the gears now, I'm just looking at the power band, seeing where I'm needing to shift up. Um, so there is plenty, so this car's got a high enough top speed, 196 miles an hour is a theoretical top speed. Ooh, that went a little bit too much there, hitting the uh, dirt mound that's going to roll over some cars, did not roll Did not roll this one however, I managed to hit it uh, gently enough, Ooh, huge understeer through there, I need to definitely uh, keep that in mind. Yeah, two two fives. Whilst you know, on a hatchback, it is all right. Uh, you know, it's not it's not the widest of tyres, so I'm definitely there's definitely going to be little ounces of understeer that are going to be creeping in here and there. I'm going to have to deal with, but it is on the rally tyres, so um, you know, it is not the end of the world. Ooh, a little, I think I actually got a little bit of a uh, just the smallest bit of lift over there. That really. Put the car on a very wide line. I'm definitely have to keep that in note. However, despite those minor issues, this car is holding on incredibly well. The acceleration up the volcano is not doing the greatest at the minute at the tarmac route, but this 
isn't the uh, most powerful. Um, you know, it's, it's only got 556 horsepower um, and about 480 newton meters of torque. Um, but it is light, as it is a rally car, so and there is that. Um, I can't remember. I didn't actually take note of the normal weight, but I think these weigh usually about 1,200 kilos. I like to say. Um, and then, of course, the moving, of course, and the turbo. Well, putting on the turbo, the what tire widths and whatnot is going to make it heavier. But I don't think it's much um, over 1,300 kilos, if at all. 1,300 kilos. I think these normally start off. The Super 2000s, I think these normally started off at about um, 1,200 kilos, 280 horsepower and whatnot. Um, well, enough about that, enough about me trying to remember my rally cars, get you through the uh, the very fast S section there, keeping it flat, yes indeed, at a nice 100, 140 mile an hour, 146 miles an hour, that's actually very impressive through there, and the car just managing to hold on really does um, not get unsettled whatsoever, with... Um, with the very fast changes of the left and the right, really, really planted there. And of course, with it being a rally car, it should actually be good over the bumps. Uh, here's hoping, and famous last words and whatnot. Uh, okay, let's see, what speed are we going to get through here? 150, 161 miles an hour. Yeah, we are quite down on the top speed front. However, I did need that seventh gear because, of course, I'm not allowed to tune the cars whatsoever. Um, so I thought, put in a 7 speed, keep the gears nice and short. To be honest, I think I would have been better off putting in something more like an 8 speed. Because um, the 7 gear, because of course 7th is quite long. So if I put it in 8, it might like, reduce, it'll, it, well actually, no, I know it would put in a um, shorter gear ratio for 7th gear. Um, so I'm going to have something more sensible to get up to the top speed. So yeah, a little bit of a build blunder on my behalf but that is something to take note of do not ignore an 8 speed gearbox or a 9 speed uh, 10 speed is probably going to be a little bit overkill especially for the first couple of gears I don't really think I need to go to that level of extremes but um, definitely definitely uh, could do with an extra gear I've not, actually not been paying attention whatsoever to how quickly this has been going up but we have done a 236.6 second run of the tarmac section. So I will take note of that. There was definitely definitely places um, to gain time so yeah, I will keep that in mind. There's definitely I could definitely shave off um, a couple of seconds so we'll have to wait and see but we've got the dirt section now. Let's see if we can improve the see if we can get a good one here. In three, two, one, go. There we go. Um, can pull a little bit further forward, but launch wasn't too bad. This is where we might actually see the longer seventh gear um, not be so much of a um, deficit for reaching the highest speed possible in the Peugeot. It is seriously holding on. Well, actually, seventh gear is not too bad when I look at it. But like I said, the theoretical top speed is 196, so possibly could have done just one more gear. I know it's odd to think a rally car with eight gears, but I mean, didn't the, uh, what was it, the, was it the Sierra Cosworth or the Escort Cosworth? I think it was the Escort had like a seven gear, a seven speed transmission, um, which was really interesting. Oh, I think I uh, kind of bounced off the red line a little bit through there, so I definitely, definitely need to sort that out. But so far it's not been able to go, pa I've not been able to get past 161 miles an hour. I sort of... Now that I've done like a couple of runs, I've sort of learned where I'm going to be noticing the uh, cars hitting their top speed. This handles so well on the dirt. Insane amount of grip. 131 over the jump. Was it like on the landing? We get a huge bounce, but we are through there nicely. We've not not really getting awkward landings, especially there. It's just it's down and planted, able to get it through the next corners, which is very very good to see. This is handling the dirt much better than a lot of other cars. We've got that uh, sort of awkward tabletop jump. It's no, it's no issue really for the Peugeot. Yeah, sure, we got the double bounce. However, it actually handled it really damn well. Um, I think because as well, sort of the speed that it was taking, I didn't have to try and manically stamp on the uh, brakes to make the corner. So that definitely does help in some regards. Oh, I. Uh, Clip the inside mound again of the um, 
I saw the bobsleigh section there. It's a mistake from me because I'm not. I'm just not expecting the car to be turning in as well as it is. That was slam on the brakes there. That was really good. That that was really, 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 really good. Line through there. A uh, little bit wonky, but I'll throw it in after. I'll throw it sideways after all. It is a rally car. You know, it is designed to be. It is designed to do well at this sort of stuff. And I have to tell you what. Tell you what. It really, really is. Cannot argue with how this car's driving at all over the dirt. Yeah, sure, maybe off-road off -road race would make the car even faster at this section. However, um, you know, I'd be losing a little bit more time on the tarmac, but I don't really think I need to... I don't even think this would really need the off-road race to get the impressive time on the downhill section. So, yeah, there is that. We've just got a couple more corners to go. Oh, I... What took way too much spin from there. I'm going to spit in really wide through there, but we are getting close now to the end of the run. Need to definitely shift a little bit earlier. Come on, just one more corner to go. Come on, it's not a sub 190 run. However, he's not far off a 191.6. That is insanely quick down the on the dirt. Christ, that's stupidly good. Uh, I forgot the... Ah, yep, I found it. Right. What time, though, is it going to set? I won't announce it this time, but what is it going to set? That's a very good time, actually. That is an incredibly good time. Um, Yeah, let's see if I can improve that on run two. Right, okay, lined up for run two. And it is an impressive time this car set. The dirt section is just unparalleled with anything else I've ever driven, really. Um, it's so good on the dirt, it really did. It really did surprise me. I, this seriously does not need off-road race um, to get an incredible time, but we've still got, there were still mistakes in that first one, there's still time to be saved. So, let's get this new run underway. Three, two, one, go. Terrible start for me. <laughs> I need to uh, definitely pull forward a little bit. Um, right. Could definitely do with pulling forward a little bit. Oh, that was a very, very terrible uh, left-hander happening there. Did not go on the handbrake enough. The back end just gripped a little bit too much. Um, but let's hope we can save time elsewhere up the course. Um, okay, we've got to go through here. Let's avoid the dirt mound section this time. Run close to it, though. Knock over a cobblestone wall with... I'm pretty sure I'll knock it over with a wing mirror. Um, right, okay, so there's a few things I need to definitely keep note of. The understeer, it does understeer quite a bit on the tarmac. Um, yeah, it is a little bit sluggish to get through here. Also as well, the gears I need to be very conscious of, of when do I need to change. Uh, yeah, because I might be running it a little bit too high in the rev range. Right, let's go on the brakes a little bit. Oh, uh, there we are pretty good through there. Actually, I've not been too bad with the gears. I thought I've been much worse than... I thought I was actually being pretty bad with them. Turns out I'm not. So over eight and a bit thousand RPM. So just getting into the red line seems to be... Yeah, sort of getting into the red line is where I really want to be gearing up. So uh, that does help me out somewhat. Ooh, took a little bit too much speed into this. Very long sort of uh, multiple apex hairpin there. Uh, got a huge slide, so I think this tarmac run is probably going to be a little bit of a throwaway, unfortunately. Um, it's been quite shoddy for me, I will admit. Let's uh, try and uh, try and regain some time. Got to uh, go up this press bit there. There we go, of course. You know, just the car ever so slightly lifting is going to drag it wide, but... You know, it is all under control. Ooh, there we go. Right, okay, heading on to the very fast S section now. We're going to be able to do it again completely flat out, maybe with a few minor lifts. Yeah, this Persia was... Oh, God, I was about to say this Persia was unsettled, but it really popped, it popped a wheelie through there. That was a, a little bit concerning. It took an awful line through it, apparently. God, the really the Persia did not like whatever I did just there so yeah this one has been absolutely terrible 
And that's a little bit of a shame, because I was hoping to, you know, I was hoping now that I learned the card a little bit more, I was hoping to get a little bit more out of it, but I really haven't been able to do that, because I've just been taking bad lines and stuff like that. Let's see, am I going to be able to take get more speed? 162 miles an hour this time. Did manage to get on the brakes a little bit later, so I'm going to try and push the car a little bit harder. Again, the back end stepping out ever so slightly, um, but not to really, like, like, really bad levels, so there's still plenty of grip in this car. I think really the front end is just lacking somewhat. Um, yeah, I think a lot. I think it's got a lot of lift from the looks of things. It's uh, lift off oversteer, possibly. Um, yeah, because it really did struggle through that. There's a lot of understeer. I'm not too sure what it is, but and it's got a lot of lift off understeer or whatnot. But something's not happening with the car. Oh God, I need to let's settle down. We've got the uh, danger sign hairpin now. It nicely through there, there we go, we fire it on the power through the uh, through that corner, we've just got one more to go, we've got a left hander, get a little bit of a slide and absolutely punch it towards the line, it, we did go quicker, I think we went exactly one second quicker, uh, 235.6, yeah, I think we honestly did, oh, I accidentally used the top camera because I was reaching over to get my drink, there we go, I'll put the can next to me, right, so, we did improve there. It really didn't feel like I did, but we did actually do it. Ooh, right. edge a little bit forward. Bit more. Uh, 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 uh. There we go, that'll do. Right. Okay, second run on the dirt. Three, two, one, go. There we go, a little bit more of a, uh, a little bit of a better start this time round. Right, okay. It's absolutely fire it through the gears and this is where the Peugeot speed was absolutely unmatched with anything else. Right, let's get you into seventh gear. Ooh, a little bit wobbly is over there. Knock down one of the fences. I don't think we've lost I don't think we lose anything too bad though. I think I went and breaks a little bit too early but absolutely fling it through that very sharp right hander like it was nothing to this Peugeot. Christ right, okay come on let's get you through let's get you through here. And then we've just got this long downhill section where we can possibly get a little bit more speed. I'm going to shift early, go into the power, uh, 161 mile an hour. Oh, I'm going to be missing the corner that time out. That was, that was on the limit of the brake, so I'm not quite going to um, beat the 162 mile an hour that the Peugeot did just set. However, you know, a mile an hour is a mile an hour. If another car draws with this Peugeot, but does not hit 162, the Peugeot is still going to be uh, ahead of it. That is one of the rules I have, mostly because of the website I have. It doesn't have milliseconds, it only has the minutes and the seconds. So I have to be, I have to do something a little bit different to get it to um, do it properly. So yeah, there is, there is that. Right, okay, we've got to go over the bumps. There we go. Nice, come on. Uh, right, okay. Uh, fling it through that hairpin. Absolutely nothing. I love this car. It's absolutely. It is so much fun. Because it just, you just throw it round and it will just stick to the road. Like it is nothing. Like, there's just nothing there. It honestly does feel like I'm still driving on tarmac when, I, when I'm on the dirt. It's just impeccable how this car drives. Uh, right, okay, I've got a. Get through here, get through that small bumpy section on the bobsway. I think I'll knock the fence down a little bit. Oh, right, okay. Slam it on the brakes, spit it sideways through this uh, double hairpin around the house. There we go, we're through there nicely. Ooh, go, come on. Uh, we've got to go through here and every which way. Keep the car still sideways and just keep and just. I'm able to be so confident with the car. I'm going to be running a little bit wider through there, but I might be able to tuck it in onto a better line. Oh, I'm running very, very wide through there. However, the Peugeot's got enough grip. I'm just able to get it back onto the dirt path. And we all can cut that corner, no issues. That is a... I'm going to take every other car. That is completely fine to me, uh, in my eyes, to cut that corner, as long as I don't go past the cactus. Um, 
got really just a couple corners left to go. Has this been a good dirt run? Honestly, I don't know. Just a few more corners. Come on, we've got one more. It's not going to be a sub 190 run again. Um, it has been a little bit slower this time out, a 191.8. The thing is, though, I think that tarmac section was just quick enough to really improve that time. So, we've got one more lap to go. Uh, one more run, sorry. Can the Peugeot go any quicker? How it drives down there, but well, let's get things underway. In three, two, one. Here we go. I'm going to get a little bit of a better start. Yep, for the final tarmac run. Let's see if I can go better than a two thirty-five point wherever it was. Uh, point six it was. Um, there we go. Go a little bit quicker now through the first of the left-hander hairpins. That hairpin there. So, so many times have I built cars and they'll just understeer there. Really do. Just have to handbrake it around there. So we've got the. The quad apex here, you can see the Peugeot's just lacking that little bit of grip on the tarmac, but we are through there nicely. I uh, just about managed to keep off the... got close to the dirt mound section, but not quite hit it. Take a little bit of a... Uh, go a little bit earlier on the brakes, try and have a little bit more speed, hit the apex. Shucked off too much speed that time out. Ooh, yeah, losing a fair amount of speed on the tarmac. Need to tuck it back in. There we go. Just full on the accelerator out of the corner, which we are. Right, okay, I need to be a little bit careful for them. Just going to lift this time. Just the tiniest, tiniest touches of the brake, and we are through there nicely. I have to say, this time out, did not lose. Did not have to. Um, sh did not shrug off as much speed. I'm trying to wrap my head around what I'm trying to say. I'm failing miserably. Um, but there we are. Right, okay, come on now. We've got. This uh, another hem and goal getting a little bit of a bobble actually over the little chicane. But, um, it does absolutely not phase the Peugeot whatsoever. Um, if we can get the S section with this car a little bit better, um, I reckon there's going to be, I reckon there's at least, at least a second through there. Let's just try and keep the car settled though through this. I'm going to steer wide a little bit, but, however, we are all sorted. Back end's going to step out, I'm going to go on the brakes, try and shrug off as little speed as possible, but enough to go over the crest without just the car understeering off and whatnot. Uh, right, okay, come on, we'll just go up. Now we're on to the S section now. Excuse me. Right. Come on, Peugeot, you got this. So I need to definitely improve the line. I'm going to take a little bit of a lift. It was Better this time out. No, it wasn't. It was still a little bit dodgy. That first S run was absolutely incredible. Uh, but yeah, I did not manage to hold it this time round. That's a little bit of a shame, really. Because um, hmm. uh, before the. I probably lifted more without realising. I probably got too overconfident with the car and then just the back end. Yeah, it's just hasn't quite got the grip required. Oh, I am massively down this time. I'm only 159 miles an hour. Um, three miles an hour down what the Peugeot previously did up there. That's not good news at all for the good run. Got to uh, go through that section a little bit better. Ooh, the back end stepping out a little bit. The front wheels are just losing grip somewhat. Oh, come on. Yeah, you know what? I feel like what it feels like to me is the standard rally tyres are kind of like the off-road race tyres in a sense that they're probably more grippy than the off-road race tyres on the tarmac, but they definitely are lacking a lot of grip compared to what really I'd expect from them. But we've just got a couple more corners to go punch it through the uh, Danger sign hairpin. Is this a better run? I don't honestly know. I don't think it actually has been a much better run. Oh, come on. One more corner. Oh, huge slide. It has not been a better run. It's actually been the exact same. Ish. 235.7 this time out. So I'm a tenth. I was a tenth down. 
So really, it is now up to the dirt section to carry this car. It was definitely still a few mistakes, but that, that one felt a little bit smoother, but smoothness doesn't equal to speed. I can edge it forward a little bit. There we go. Nice. Okay, final time for the Peugeot. Three, two, one, go. There we go. Right, I'm just going to fire it up the gears, try and get a launch as best as I can in fifth gear, already going to sixth. I'm going to hang this gear for a little bit longer, oh, running a little bit wide there. I need to definitely, that was definitely uh, not good for me. Keeping the foot flat, not having to lift whatsoever. I can go a little bit wide and slam on the brakes. There we go, we are through there. Nicely, I'm going to leave it in. Do I need to leave it in fourth? Nope, third gear was indeed better. Get it slid through there into fifth gear. Try and get some grip down, try and get some of the power as well. Ooh, I'm on a little bit of a wonky line, but I might be able to straight line it somewhat. And in 56, I'm going to break out this old dead bush there. And uh, we are through, I'm going to knock out some of the fences running a little bit wide, but we didn't go past them. Um, so I'm not going to clear, I'm not going to give myself a time penalty for that one. Oh god, I need to, to handbrake a lot more through there. This has been a shoddy, shoddy performance for me. Come on, let's uh, let's sort it out right here, right now. Uh, come on, into six. I'm going to get a huge jump, go double bounce, but it is just so clean, that double bounce. I don't have to worry whatsoever. Ooh, carry a little bit too much speed. Persia's all right with it, though. I can, it doesn't do the double bounces, it just lands the jump absolutely superbly. I am able to get back onto the power, got the uh, tabletop jump again, the Peugeot, but just deals with it like it is nothing. Ooh, too much of a slide through there, slide through there, which really feels like a one two. Just, you know, get a good line through there. I'm just going to probably bottom out a little bit through the hairpin before we head into the uh, bobsleigh section now. Let's have a look, try and keep the car as, try and give as much speed as possible, try and avoid the dirt mounds where possible. Uh, just a few awkward bumps to try and deal with, this one in particular. Uh, and, oh god, I'm really dodgy through there this time out. They're not uh, throwing the car enough really to just stay on the power and just sail it round the uh, right hander before left. Yeah, it's been really bad for me this time out. Oh dear. Um, I do apologise, Persia. It was me that's letting you down this run. Come on, though. I might be, I might be able to draw something out of you, though. We'll have to wait and see, especially out of this run. It's been pretty bad. Go nicely in through there. Let's take a little bit of a better line this time out, which I possibly have done. Uh, too much of a slide, potentially. We are through there. There we go. Go with just a couple more corners to go. I think nearly I've got to get such a spot on final sector, and I don't think that's it whatsoever. Taking just a little bit too much speed through there, but we'll have to wait and see. We can go through this left hander flat out. Oh, I think nearly I've uh, oh no, I've absolutely murdered this one. Yeah, well, I think I will. What I will say is I'd add a second penalty. Um, about, well, actually, no, that's a little bit too harsh. I'm going to say about half a second, but it's not going to matter. The run was slower. And 191.6, um, if I do the maths, I think that has been the exact set. No, it, it actually has gone, I think it was ever so slightly quicker, but, yeah, I think on... <laughs> No, I'm not going to count this one. I'm not going to count it. I did do a little bit. I think I cut the corner just a smidge too much. I kind of... Like, there's a few corners I'm going to say I have sort of a reference of I have to stay in between. And there's like one of the little bushes um, that I went on the inside of trying to carry too much speed. So I think I'm going to avoid this run. Um, but it wasn't that much quicker anyway. So the, uh, the time lost is not really you know, that much stress for the Peugeot. So, the Peugeot gave it a dominating result, being three seconds faster than the Huracan Evil, despite the car not having that great of a top speed, only managed to do 162 miles an hour, but just the absolute, just a huge amount of grip that was available to the car when, um, 
when it went onto the dirt was absolutely incredible. Just being able to leave it on its standard rally tyres and for it to feel like off-road race tyres was absolutely key for the uh, car. And yeah, it was a fan fantastic car to drive. However, that's going to be it for me. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, do the stuff to YouTube out. I'll be highly appreciative if you did the stuff to YouTube out with the mics. There'll be a link in the description in case you want to join my Discord and say hello. However, that's going to be it for me. And until next time, ciao for now. Oh, 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 oh,